What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Brothers have been really bringing a lot to my attention regarding um, former rapper Lord Jamar and... Lord Jamar has the Godcast podcast here on YouTube. He's also, you know, a very good friends with DJ Vlad. At least I believe they still are. Um, and, you know, he was in the brand Nubian hip hop group, you know, classic group. Um, and he's a successful YouTuber now. And also, um, I guess, social commentator. He says a lot of <laughs> controversial things. But we remember that particular podcast that uh mr jamar had with one dr umar johnson now again i i don't want to get in trouble with the umar fans like my uncle d Rail, who i love dearly so much but again i want to reiterate the fact that umar johnson is a very bright man i believe that i don't know if he has any scholarly works but the things that he talks about in the black community I agree with the presentation and things he talks about. I usually agree with them almost a hundred percent of the time when it comes to the problems that we're having in the black community, the global black community, as far as Africa, I agree. He see, he speaks up for our people in, in, in a way I feel that is more eloquent then people of this generation, you have to go back and look at Malcolm X or go back and look at Dr. Amos Wilson or John Henry Clark uh, to talk about the real issues that we face as a people. And I don't think anybody has done that uh, like Umar Johnson in the last 20 years, in my honest opinion. However, Laura Jamar, who is not as eloquent as Dr. Umar Johnson and will ad rightly admit that he's not, had Dr. Umar Johnson on and Umar felt that he would be able to come on and push his agenda. Now, it was much different when Umar knew he was going on a Roland Martin show and he knew that Roland Martin had a lot of things to say. But 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 Lord Jamar kind of pushed back on a lot of things um, and asking about the school. Where is the money for the school? Okay, and this is a very important time because we need to focus on this particular part of the conversation. He was holding Umar accountable for what he said that he was going to do, building a boy for schools. And then, of course, Umar Johnson um, did what most uh, immature people do. He got very upset. He uh, has been taking shots ever since and stuff like that at, at Lord Jamar. Um, and this is why we're talking about this today is because recently Dr. Umar was on someone else's show. And, and I think that Lord Jamar had said something about Marcus Garvey not returning to Africa. And, Lord, and Dr. Umar Johnson, from what I heard, took the opportunity to throw a shot at, uh, at Umar, uh, at Lord Jamar. And he does this, from what I understand, repetitively. It's like a constitutive thing. He always has something to say about Lord Jamar. And, 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 and Jamar responded in kind by saying this. He said, I also agree with a lot of what Dr. Umar Johnson is saying about the black community, about our issues, about our problems, and some of the solutions that are to be presented. But the fundamental problem that I have with Dr. Umar Johnson is that he is not who he says he is. He is not the man that we say he is, or that he says he is. He doesn't live up to his own standards. So when you bring a man to the black community and he says he's going to do something and then he doesn't, and then you make him accountable for it, he runs like a little biatch. That's why I hold him accountable. And Jamar said, I don't have a problem with him today. It's just that he didn't do what he said he was going to do. And see, let me tell you exactly why Dr. Umar Johnson can't lead black men. And this is the reason why he don't get a lot of support from men anymore. And this is why he's caping for women. Because with black men, and, and, and Lord Jamar is, 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 is true to this statement as I've ever seen it. Black men are going to require that you do what you say you're going to do. That you are who you say you're going to be. That if you put yourself to a certain standard, you got to deliver on what you say. And I'm going to tell you exactly why a lot of our leaders in the black community 
don't want to work with black men because black men are going to make you do what you say you're going to do. And I'm going to tell like this. See, a lot of black leaders want to be able to get over uh, on black men like black women get over on black men. You see? See, that's the situation. A lot of guys want to be able to come to black pastor. Shout out to Dr. David Carroll. Because the black pastor can get over on sisters. And sisters won't challenge black, uh, 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 black men won't challenge sisters on their loyalty to the pastors. So somebody like Dr. Umar Johnson, he understands how that relationship works. He understands that dynamic and says, okay, well, black women support black men who don't do nothing for them. And black men don't say anything about it. Now, I'm also talking about many things, even from the format of a Baptist preacher. If you listen to um, Dr. Umar Johnson talk, the cadence is very church-like. Listen to Farrakhan. No disrespect to Farrakhan. I'm just saying, if you listen to these guys who don't who are not Christians, but they talk to black people, they talk to black people in a very national Baptist pastoral tone. They have their own sorts of pulpits. Okay, even Malcolm X, it was very preachy-like. But the reality is, is that if you're not in the black church and you are somebody, Hotep, Pan-African, it don't matter how much women support you. It don't matter. Black men, if you're not in the black church and black men are also calling them out, we're going to hold you to task. So if you say that Christianity is false and they're taking our people's money and all that, okay, but so that don't mean we're going to let you do it. And see, that's the situation. Here's the reason why the, uh, the black community leaders won't talk to black men because we're going to make them do what they said they're going to do. And, and Lord Jamar has exposed it. And when you work with our guys, we have to be men with honor. Honor amongst men is key. We have to do what we say that we're going to do. Men are going to hold each other accountable. We have to do what our word dictates that we will do. Because it's hard to gain a respect from a black man, but it is a very, very easy to, to lose it. You can do nothing to gain, a lot of times, respect from women. Because they can be easily fooled sometimes, depending on the... No, I'm not saying that all women can't, because women can see certain tricks, but, but it's easier to, to, to get over. Men going to see right through that. We're going to want results. And Lord Jamar has, has proven why Dr. Umar Johnson don't have no pull with black men no more. And until we as a group of men start doing what we say we're going to do, we're not going to get the support of each other. The best way that black men can start building relationships and start building anything. Do what you say you're going to do. And I'm going to close with this. I was talking to Brother George. Brother George told me about a situation with a particular brother. I won't call his name. But it was a brother for his organization. He was trying to work with the brother. The brother said that he was going to call Brother George back, set up a meeting. Brother from a very uh, prestigious university didn't call Brother George back. But then the white guy that wanted to help with the urban nerds, he called and, 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 and made the donation that the brother didn't do. So how can you have something for black children and black youth and the brother that was in a position to make it happen said he was going to do it and didn't do it. And then the white man turned around and do it. And it's about trying to get black youth to the next level. See, and that's why we don't have a lot of honor amongst our guys. You got to have honor as a man. Do what you say you're going to do for your men. These are the men in your community. You can't use your own men. These are the guys that you're, these are your brothers. How can you lie to your brother? And don't do what you're supposed to do. And, and Lord Jamar has exposed that about Umar. And I don't care who, he's right. Umar got to do what he said he's going to do as a black man. If you don't do it, stay over there with the women. Because you cannot build community society without the support of black men. If any man in any country, men build for the women and protect them. And when you lose men, you lose it all. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first company to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.